Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your man David down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit 4x4 in true blue pearl, powered by the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine underneath the hood. Come to the front here, you'll have projector style HID headlamps lighting up the road in front of you. This has LED turn signals up front, LED running lights, and there's fog lights down below, and there's dots on the front bumper here, and those are front park sense parking sensors, and that is an adaptive cruise control sensor down there. And you have the chrome seven slot inserts. You know it's a Jeep when you see that. Very modern styling, which I really do like. Come to the side here, this 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit is running on 20 inch rims. They look great. This does have four wheel disc brakes all around and the tires are Ferrelli, Scorpion, mud and snow tires with plenty of tread on there. You'll surely have lots of traction. And there's mud flaps behind all four tires. Color matching door handles on the outside on all four doors and both driver and passenger side door mirrors are color matching and they have built in LED turn signal lamps. These are brick away and these are heated mirrors as well. This does have blind spot radar. There's a triangle right there that will light up to warn you that someone is in your blind spot. This does have the proximity key fob. I have the key fob in my pocket right now. You can always just press this button right here to lock the doors when you're done with the Grand Cherokee. To get back inside, if you have the key fob on you, all you gotta do is do this. And the Jeep will sense the fob is near and that will unlock the doors for you. Storage down below with a cup holder Nice leather padding here for your arm to rest on. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with window lock. Driver and passenger side windows up front are automatic. This does have power folding in mirrors. You can fold the mirrors in in case you need to park in a tight parking spot. Press the button again and the mirrors fold back out to where they were. And there's chrome door handles on the inside on all four doors. And this does have the Harman Kardon premium audio sound system which you can definitely rock out and have a good time with. This does have driver's seat presets. You can save up to two presets and by the push of a button, the driver's seat will adjust to your preset settings. And there's one, two, three speakers on the driver's side door. Move inside here, this has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it. Dimmer knob there, that button there will turn the fog lights. Pop open the cover so you can fuel up this Grand Cherokee with that button there. Directional air vent which you can close and open. This does have a leather wrapped steering wheel with unique materials on top. It is a power telescoping steering wheel. Driver's seat is fully powered with lumbar support. This has leather seats throughout. Summit badges stitched in to the front seats. Adjustable headrests on the front seats. And this has adjustable seat belt height. So depending on how big or tall of a person you are, you can adjust the seat belt heights you're most comfortable inside this Grand Cherokee. And this does have a panoramic sunroof up top. Nice little padding in the middle here for arms to rest on. There is an upper storage area here with unique materials. And there's a lower storage area here with unique materials. There's a convenience light right there. And down in here, there is a 12 volt DC power outlet. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And there's reading lamps up top there as well. Let's go check out the back seat area. All right, here's the back seat door panel. There's a cup holder down here. It also could be a storage area. Nice leather padding, power window switch. Absolutely beautiful styling. You'll find these on the front doors too. Two speakers on the door here. There's plenty of foot room in the back seat area, along with plenty of headroom. Good view of the panoramic sunroof in the back seat area. There's hooks that you can hang up your nice clothes on. So if you're going to a nice event, your clothing doesn't get all wrinkled. Those little interior lights right there, just push them with your hand, they'll come on and act as reading lamps. Push them again, they'll shut off. There's a fold down armrest here in the middle with two big cup holders. Nice chrome touch there as well. Is a 60-40 rear split setup. Pull this handle right here and you can fold the seats down. Hooks on the backs of the seats. So if you want to set up a child seat, you can easily do that. Easily push this back up and then push the headrest back up and you're good to go. Down here in the middle, 
There's directional air vents, which you can easily adjust. You can adjust where you want the air to go. There's two USB ports, heated seats in the back, and there's a 115 volt AC power outlet and a park on the back of the driver's seat with hooks so you can hang up bags. It has a convenience handle right here so your passengers can easily get inside the Grand Cherokee. This has a rear window wiper, dual exhaust tips out the back, nice badging, Jeep, Summit badge, 4x4 badge, dots on the back bumper, those are rear park sense parking sensors, and the backup camera is right there. Put your hand down here. And there's tons of space in the back here for many different things. If you ever need to put a license plate on the front of this Jeep, there is a front license plate holder which you can mount. And there's a subwoofer on the right here, hooks to can hang up bags. And there's a 12 volt DC power outlet. And there's more hooks here so you can hang up even more bags. And there's a little storage spot right there too. It's a nice carpet here. There's a little handle, lift this handle. Here is the spare tire and the jack. And there's even more storage areas. Press the button on the left side here. You'll hear a few beeps and then the power lift gate will come down right before your eyes. And there's also spots for your hands to go on the power lift gate. So if you need to pull it down by hand, you can easily do that. Storage area slash cup holder. Leather padding, power window switch, beautiful styling, two speakers. Park on the back of the passenger seat too with hooks so you can hang up bags. Convenience handle here. Pull this handle. And of course this side comes down too. And of course you have a hook there. So you can set up a child seat, push it back up, locks back into place and you can push the headrest back up. You can unlock all the doors, you have the key fob on you just by putting your hand around the passenger door handle like this and you always press that black button to lock up the Grand Cherokee when you're done with it. Again, one, two, three speakers on the passenger door. Another logo for the Harman Kardon Premium Audio Sound System. Storage down below with the cup holder, nice leather padding right here, power locks, power window switch, great style, looking good. Passenger seat is fully powered with lumbar support as lower glove box here with a manual and some other goodies and you can lock the lower glove box if you have important documents you want to keep in there and there's a directional air vent here which you can close and open and for safety there's airbags built into the front seats there's side curtain airbags driver and passenger side airbags and more the grand cherokee summit has loads of safety features to keep you safe let's hop inside and take a closer look right now all right, this is the proximity key fob. There's a nice Jeep badge on the back. There's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button. Press this button twice, that'll open up the power lift gate and close it. And this does have remote start, so I'm just gonna press this button twice. The doors will lock and the Jeep Grand Cherokee will start right up. Boom, just like that. Then all you gotta do is either put your hand around the driver or passenger side door handles to get inside if you have this key fob on you. Or you could just press the unlock button just like this. You keep this key fob in your pocket or you can put it down below here in one of the two cup holders. All you gotta do is put your foot on the brake down below, go over to the side here and press the push button start button and I'll get you past the remote start system. The tachometer and the fuel gauge and the temperature gauge, the large LCD driver information center screen looks very good and this only has 9,652 kilometers on it. Not much at all. So definitely come book a test drive soon. And using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here, we can go through the driver information center. And the first thing you'll see is that there's a digital speedometer. And there's two styles. So you have a classic style and a digital style. And you can press OK and it'll change it to miles per hour. Here's your vehicle info area. It tells you the tire pressures for all four tires. It tells you transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, and back to your tire pressures. You have your driver assist area there. Fuel economy lets you know your average liters per 100 kilometers and your fuel range on your tank of fuel. Hold the OK button here and you can easily reset that. Very nice. Here we have our trip computers. You have a trip one calculator and a trip two calculator. Both of them tell you how far you've driven, your average fuel economy and the time you've been driving for. Again, hold the OK button and you can easily reset that. I don't think trip A has ever been reset before so you could be the first one to reset that. You have the auto stop start system on this Grand Cherokee. Here you have our audio area. Let's just know what's playing on the media when it is turned on. Message center in case a Jeep wants to tell you something. It's 
screen setup here so you can customize the screen, make it more of your own. There's a compass here, outside thermometer, some blank spaces, go on the screen setup and you customize what's on the screen, how it say what you want it to say. And back to the digital speedometer. And if you open up any door on this Jeep, let's door in the bottom left corner, which door on the Jeep is opened. Nice Jeep badge here in the middle with of course a horn. It's a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right. This does have paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel and steering wheel mounted audio controls, which allows you to go and adjust your volume, go through your presets and so much more. Adaptive cruise control right here. You can turn it on and off and adjust it right there. Bluetooth controls here. You can answer and hang up on calls that come through Bluetooth. And this does have voice recognition. Cancel. Canceled. Using voice recognition, you can tell GPS navigation to find a certain address, which I think is super cool. And up here, there is a sunglasses holder. There's push button spotlight lamps. There's a programmable garage door opener there, a button to open up the power lift gate, and buttons open up the panoramic sunroof. So just go like this, press it once, and it opens up automatically, and it lets in lots of fresh air and lots of sunlight. And the buttons here will close the cover. So if you don't want to see out the panoramic sunroof, you can have a cover that comes and blocks sight out the window. Fold down sun visors here with convenience mirrors with convenient lights so you and your passengers see what you look like whenever you want. These are break away and they do slide out in case the sun is on your side. Handle here for the front passenger so they have something to hold on to and even you the driver have a handle that you can hold on to in case the ride gets a little bumpy. And I just got to note the high quality materials on the roof here, man, this looks so nice. And there's tons of visibility out the front window. And down here, there's a little storage compartment. There's a USB port, actually two of them, an auxiliary port and a 12 volt DC power out in there. And there's unique materials as well. This does have active park sense. So I put this into drive. You can turn on active park sense and you can actually switch on how you want this thing to park itself. You go perpendicular and parallel. That's right, this Grand Cherokee will park itself. That's right, the future is here. And you have your manual shift mode there. If I throw this into reverse, a backup camera shows up on the touchscreen Uconnect system, giving you a great view of what's behind you. And if I turn the wheel, it'll guide you to where you're going to be backing up. And that also activates your front and rear ParkSense parking sensors. And this also has ParkSense rear braking assist. So on the screen here, I'll let you know how close you're getting to an object. And you can easily turn off the park sense parking sensors by pressing that button there. This does have lane sense. Here's where you can turn off the auto stop start system. Eco mode, when activated, makes the Grand Cherokee run more fuel efficiently. This does have a sport mode and also has traction control. And you can turn it off right here. Dual climate control with the auto feature, which allows the Grand Cherokee to adjust your climate control for you. These are the physical controls, air conditioning, recirculate button, front defrost, rear window defroster, driver's temperature, passenger temperature, just the fan speed for climate right here, and that turns on the auto feature. This is a tuning knob, browse button for your audio, volume knob, power button for the system here. Mute button, hazards, turn the screen off if you don't want to look at it. Press it with your finger, it comes back on just like so. And there's directional air vents in the middle here which you can easily adjust and easily close and open those. And there's nice stitching on the dashboard as well. And here is the touchscreen Uconnect system. It is the latest touchscreen Uconnect system. It has AM, FM radio and Sirius XM. Access to a mini map, thanks to GPS navigation right there. Presets above, easily hold one of these boxes with your finger and you easily set a preset, easily adjust your audio, balance fade, equalizer, speed adjusted volume, surround sound mode is there. Media center here, so if you have something plugged into one of the two USB ports down below, a Bluetooth device connector or something in the utility port, Go here and you can listen to music through those areas. Touchscreen climate control here. Easily adjust where you want the air to go. Adjust your fan speed. Set the temperature with just your finger and more. You connect that, showing you all the cool stuff. You have Wi-Fi hotspot. Look at this. This does have heated and ventilated seats up front and two settings for both. This also has a heated steering wheel and you can access the back of the camera without the Jeep being in reverse. GPS navigation area, view the map here. It gives you a great view of where you are and you can zoom in and you can zoom out on the map. 
go where to, put in address, search up points of interest, and more. Bluetooth area here, pair more than one device, make hands-free calls, everything you do on your phone, make call, you hands-free on touchscreen, you connect system here. Tells you time, outside, temperature, and if you have any devices connected. Definitely come check out this Grand Cherokee sometime soon. It's the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit, 4x4 in true blue pearl paint, powered by the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine underneath the hood. This is a luxurious SUV that is capable and fun to drive. It has lots of modern day technology inside of it and has stunning looks that will make people's heads turn. Book a test drive at Crosstown today. I'm Man David and I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah.